because uh, recently uh, the Cabin in the Woods director Drew Goddard was talking about a potential um, Left 4 Dead Cabin in the Woods crossover. Can you can you talk about that at all? Yeah. So actually, that was the, the coolest thing about that was getting to meet uh, those two guys. Um, so because we had to have a meeting about it, and so that was just a good excuse. I don't care if we did anything or not. Um, as such a such a fan, of, especially of, of Joss's work, um, of both. I don't mean that. But you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, yeah. he has a bigger body of work, so I guess that's okay to say. But it's really, really neat to meet them and realize, you know, why they're so good at what they do, because they're really smart guys. Um, and so, yeah, we had, you know, it's weird, is because um, people are like, oh, they should have made that, they should have made that, that would have been horrible. And really, at that point, we were just kicking around ideas of what would be interesting and mm. didn't get past that stage in it. Um, because cause they had a... a the, their release was a long release. Yeah. Um, we were originally talked to them a long time before that. Um, but it was interesting because, um, you know, he knows games so well, and he was actually a fan of Left 4 Dead and played it. And, that, and, and starting from that point, instead of having to pitch the whole franchise and everything to yeah. them, it's just super interesting because he, he so, getting his perspective of it was like, oh, here's this really smart guy who's going to talk about our franchise yeah. and give us feedback on it. Yeah, I'm going to listen That's because great. I'm going to learn things from it. So. Yeah. I think I can get it to go down. Do we want to go down? How did you envision it, it working, the, um, the crossover? So, so the, that part of it, well, you've got to see our side to them. And, it, mm. and I think they thank us for that. It already came out. It's awesome to see those characters in there. That was so much fun. That, that's right. Yeah, you had um, Valve characters actually in the, the cells in, yeah. uh, spoiler alert, in... Yeah, the, and, the and, and the thing is, it's a super great movie. It's a super smart and funny movie. Um, it has an absolute right tone of uh, kind of being sarcastically winking at you while not being stupid. Yeah. So I, I'm a big fan of the movie. Um, but so, yeah, our, our idea on our side was, well, what if we took parts of that movie and made a more uh, removed version of Left 4 Dead, essentially, where you were more in control and less just playing it. And we'd always talked about that. I think that would be a fun kind of mode to play around and, and do it. I don't know if some of the stuff we're working on now is going to give people quite that, but some of the stuff that we're looking at to be releasing um, over the next coming months is to give people a lot more tools to kind of play around and do things we hadn't thought of or things we would do and see what they do in that space. So to kind of open the idea up and see, see where people take it. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we, we, we've, we've announced we're going to be opening up the workshop for Left 4 Dead 2. Yeah. And with that, you know, people are instantly thinking, oh, okay, maps, that makes sense. And there's a bunch of um, stuff people have created, like outfits for people to wear and all of that. And that, that's cool. We'll get that out there. But we also wanted to push then the step, the next place, and the thing that people have been making are campaigns and stuff, which are the, you know, but they're really big and they're um, um, the full, full having to do all the art and all the map layout. But, there's, but essentially what they're doing is delivering um, experience. Mm. And this is a game that creating experience is really valuable for other customers. Um, and so, well, why not let them create other kinds of experiences? By doing that, is opening up our entity system, giving them more control over the map, letting them create entirely new game modes, essentially taking the idea of mutations and pushing it really far out. And then what would that look like? And so that's what, how we're going to be different in the Steam Workshop, and what you'll be seeing there is giving people that ability to do that. And so it'll be interesting to see what they do. And if we run out of bullets... Baby, they're going to wish we had... Them.